Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. We're back in Lotro, and we are back with Miss Medrill. And the last time she left off, she had talked to Lud. And we need to do an instance with him. And if we have enough time after that, I do believe we need to also do an instance with Mincham. But we'll see how long this one takes first. Please follow me, Devodiad, but be on your guard, for there are those that would stand against us in lifting this curse. I will escort you to the entrance, but once there, you must go alone. Return to me with news of your discoveries. The shades of a Dunlendon clan stir restlessly amid the barrows of the Lich Bluffs. What broken oath binds these poor spirits to the confines of this world? Perhaps the shade of one of their heroes holds the answer. Cadelhan's tomb. My words cannot express my gratitude, good High Elf. The amulet that you have placed upon my tomb belong to my beloved. My people still suffer due to the actions of the man that was my father. On the eve before I was to wed my beloved, my father broke the bonds of hospitality and murdered my wife and her kin. Following the deed, my father presented me with the broken amulet. The amulet was a gift that I gave her when we... My hope is that if we can lay my father's cursed spirit to rest, our people can find peace after all this time. Oh, that's right. The amulet was a gift that I gave her when we decided to wed. So it was his betrothal present to her. Following my father's betrayal, I led a group of friends away from my home, as none of my followers could believe what my father and his men had done. We saw no other way to avenge this foul deed but to stand against them. Unfortunately, after some time, we were defeated, and I was laid in the sparrow and held here, never to be free. I will need to gather strength before I can assist you further. What? Wait, to arms. The shades of my father's men seek to destroy me and recover the amulet. Please, defend me as I muster my strength. All right. You need me to fight on your behalf? I can do that. Such a coward. My father would not fake me, but instead sends his servants. And good service strength, dude. I have this. Thank you for helping hold back my father's servant. I am grateful to you for your assistance. Weakened am I and weary of this curse. My people suffer from this curse because of my father, but I am not wholly without blame. I was a very capable hunter and sought out the Re Halvorch, a powerful spirit near here, to bless my betrothal. Upon completing an arduous challenge, the Re Halvorch blessed the amulet that you recently recovered. The marriage was not to last, however, for my father murdered my wife and sundered the amulet. My belief is that when my father slew my wife and broke the amulet that I had given her, the curse unfolded upon us. Such an act of betrayal is what brought this down upon us. Please go, so that I might regain my strength and summon those that would aid me. I will send word to the man that led you to this place when it's time to return. What have we to say to each other, Devodiad? What Caldohan speaks of is a tale that had been passed along for generations. His people have fallen to an ancient curse for breaking an oath. They are bound to roam the land without rest, shackled for their atrocity. My hope is that by learning what exactly happened, we might be able to release them from their curse. Okay. If you have something to say, speak it. With Caldohan's awakening, it has become of great import for us to find the ancient resting place of his father, Thrun Vale. Among the barrows, there may be markings near the entryways that denote who was interred at each place. They may provide clues to the identities of those who are buried within. Seek out these markers in front of the cairns. One of them will be Krug Thrun Vale, I am certain. Look for the symbol of a crowned boar. The first cairn marker lies to the north of here, the second to the south, and the last even further south, deeper into the barrows. If you find Kruthvenvel, you should bring news of its location to Cal Catalan. All right, sounds good. But before we do anything else, 
we are going to go back to Mincham, and we're going to do that instance too, because we have loads and loads of time. So we have a we have a recruitment for the casual instance raid network. It says the casual instance raid network are looking for new members. We are a Discord server that runs all sorts of group content at various levels with a fun and casual atmosphere. Everyone, regardless of level or skill, is welcome. PST for the link, or if you have any questions. So they're not a kinship; they just run a Discord server for people to get together and do things like raids and stuff. Still, they sound pretty nice. All right, Mincham, let's go do this thing. The Ogreig remain neutral, but for how long? My scout entered the cave and reported foul chanting deep within. When he ventured further into the cavern, he saw several dark figures overseeing a grisly ritual behind a locked gate. You should try to unlock the gate and disrupt the ritual. Not only the shades of Oathbreakers wander the barrows of the Lich Bluffs. Some dark power has raised a horde of whites in service to the enemy. Only by traveling into the darkest recesses of an ancient barrow can the source of this evil be uncovered. This is the one that also has I don't know. There is one instance that also has some little side things to find. And I don't think this is the one. But I will keep my eyes open anyway. which way to go in this. <laughs> I'll be honest. I've done this a couple of times, but I get lost every single time. Oh no, okay. Now I do know it's not this one. Because the one I was thinking of is an entirely different story. There's another locking mechanism. So I need to find the second one now. The music in this one is creepy. Okay, that's the locked gate. Okay, we've been there. Okay, that just led us back there. Ah, must be this way. Through the chamber and disrupt the ritual.
You have disrupted the ritual. And look, it's a white lord. Complete it. And I get to talk to Menchum again. Oh, and they put a handy door here so we can leave. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to complain about that. And I found a Corvon. Well, while we're here, no, nope, we're not as close to it as I thought. We're not close, really all that close to either of them. Oh. But, let's see. We can find a, a, a white in here and collect an intact corrupted file from them. That's those dogs. They're not helpful. <laughs> nope, nothing yet. Up, up above. Okay. Oh. I will grab that. Collect it and intact. Okay. Oh, and there's another quest near here that I can do. Retrieve and destroy components. Ouch. <laughs> she went flying off that cliff. Just a little teeny tiny bit. Ooh, Ritzkazad. I will definitely be taking that. this oh it's in here this might be the place I was thinking of Maybe not. Looks like exactly like the place we were just in. You'd think I could have gotten these components while I was there the first time, right? It is the place we were just in. Once again, you think we could have gotten those components the first time through. Well, we got them, and that was pretty quick. Okay. Get on a horse. Looks like we have a lot of things to turn into Mensham at this point. Back three of these or for mention. But 
while we're running past this way, it looks like our inscriptions are going to be in here somewhere. At least not far away from here. I could have stayed on my horse for this. Oh well. We're not far away from our destination now. Okay, a bedstone. I've examined the inscription. Check out a few of these. Let's go. Might as well get back on horse. Excuse me, I'm just passing there. So I think this is the one we just did. <laughs> ah, here's another one. I've examined the inscription. Now it says to locate the second one. Now these things are just all over the place. For a brief second there, I almost swore I heard the Arabian song. Oh, that's because I have to... Okay. That's what I did wrong. Okay, you have to check all of the rocks in a place. Now I need to find the last inscription. Which must not be that far away because it's not pointing me in any other location. Maybe up there. Yep, up here.
Okay. Now I get it. There's a rock at each entrance. So we found that. Now we're going to go talk to Mention. Mention ought to be relatively pleased. We got a lot done. Hello, hello, random people. I hope you're having fun. I was just going to say person, but there was at least two there. I don't know what that is in the distance, but that looks really neat. Oh, hold on. Okay. Maybe I'd like to be on a little more level surface to do that. I'll be with you in a moment, Mention. Doesn't that look neat? Okay, not being a tourist. <laughs> All right, Mention. <clears throat> She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, sorry, I'm just looking at the scenery. I hope we come to Aragorn's aid in time. I'm glad to see that you were able to disrupt that grisly ritual. From what I understand, the body that was on the table was a new vessel for Fern Dor, the virulent. I fear that, unknown to us, one of the lords of the Gauntmen settled here some time ago and has been using the barrows of the Lich Bluffs to raise whites for an army of his own. Thank you for disrupting the ritual, as it may well save the lives of the entire Grey Company and many of the men and women that call this land home. The minions of Orthanc are growing stronger in these lands. Several days ago, Dervoon entered the Mornshaws, a great forest to the west of here. He was hoping to find a way through that forest to the south that would be hidden from the prying eyes of our enemies, but I have heard nothing from him since. The locals call the forest Galarguig, and believe it to be inhabited by powerful spirits that do not care for the company of men. There is one group among the Dunlending, called the Darud, that dare to frequent the forest, and even among their ranks it's said that one will occasionally vanish into the forest, never again to be seen beneath mortal sun. I'd watch your step there. I hope we come to Aragorn's aid in time. The destruction of those ritual components is but a step in stemming the tide of darkness throughout the Lich Bluffs. I thank you for all your hard work. Our hope lies in secrecy, but we find these lands inhabited. The delivery of this file is a grim but important discovery. It appears that these files are being used to corrupt the bodies of the fallen in the Lich Bluffs. It may also partially be the cause of the corrupted Cairnstones. We must work quickly to unravel who is behind this plot. Uh, we walk into danger, and we must walk alone. There have been reports of dark rituals being enacted upon the barrows near Track Bla. These creatures are said to be creating the vile liquid that you have discovered. Will you seek out these creatures and defeat the whites performing the ritual? Travel south along the road until you reach the broken bridge. From there, head westward into Track Bla. All right, so. We might have time to do this one really quick. Okay, we are pretty close to it. Ah, oh, I, I kind of figured there was going to be a quest to deal with those guys. I know exactly what we're doing now. Um, but that is not the quest we wanted. It is still pretty close. He's trying to lead me back to Cat Catalan, but we're not doing that just yet. 
we want to go up here and deal with these guys. Well, shouldn't have trouble getting White Slayer doing all these quests. Okay, so we've gotten one rich list. Did it for the ritualist. That was easy. Unfortunately, I do not think we. No. No, we don't have time for the last one. I don't think. Oh no. Did we do it? All right, we might as well try to get all of these done. Woohoo! <laughs> We've gotten a lot more done today than I was expecting to. So I'm certainly not complaining. Okay. And in we go. <laughs> That's funny. Well. And there you are. Camelhen. Leave us alone. And we will leave you in peace. Your assistance is greatly appreciated, Devodion. Our knowledge of my father's final resting place shall lead to my people's freedom. Then Fernvale will be put to rest. You are a Devodiot from distant lands. I am not sure what help you can be. Following your departure, I was visited by a powerful emissary of the Rehavarch. As he was the spirit that blessed my union, I asked if there was a way for my people to be freed from this ancient curse. He asked that I choose a champion to go forth and confront my father with what he has done. I sent my men to seek out a safe path to Krugfern Bell. I will need to enlist your aid to defeat my father, so our people might be released. I will return the amulet that you have mended, as it may aid you when fighting him. Will you travel to Krug Fernvel and defeat him? Yes, of course I will. My men have returned and have found an entrance to the place where my father was put to rest. Please be careful. The shades of his men have been seen there and will attack anyone who might enter therein. The Oath okay. of Fernvile, father of Cuddaline binds the shadows of the Lich Bluffs to their earthly tombs. The only hope remaining for these poor spirits is the defeat of their dark ruler. Alright, so which way? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It just goes around. Alright. I love how the interior of all the barrels look alike, even though they're in completely different places. Ah, we have found Fernvale's tomb. There you are. He is somewhat mistaken. I mourn for the loss of his wife, but not for what preceded it. I intercepted a message saying that his beloved family would strike against us before the ceremony. I could not allow that. I understand my son's anger and his search for vengeance, as his beloved was a sorry victim of her family's actions. I will face you now, but I will also warn you that I will present you with other challenges along the way. My son has sent forth a worthy opponent. As I rest a moment, face some of my men. 
So, I guess there are two sides to the story. A suitable display of skill. I shall enjoy this. A challenge indeed. Perhaps you should meet a few more of my men. He has a bit of a chi, doesn't he? I don't think he should have killed everybody, though. Maybe he could have just confronted her family. You have defeated me. I call forth my son to come before me. Son, your champion has defeated me. Father, after all these years, you have finally paid for what you did to my beloved. Son, what you never understood was that I mourn the loss of your beloved, but her people planned to attack just before your wedding. I could not allow my people to be slaughtered. But why her? Did you have to hurt her? She was an unfortunate victim, as I said. However, I am sure how... Well, okay. The curse levied upon your people was twofold. The first was due to the destruction of my gift, the amulet that was plucked in twain. The second was the breaking of the tradition of hospitality, and oath sworn in earnest. While these men may have betrayed you, they were still guests in your hall. So a curse was placed upon your people. This day, with the defeat of the transgressor, Catalan, your followers will go free. Fernville, your people will remain for ten passings of the season. Catalan, your people will fade within the next passing of the season. Alright, so the Huntsman. This is the Huntsman. He's, I believe, a Meyer. He's a very powerful creature. But um, he cursed them. He has looked at the curse. He is satisfied with the outcome. Medjul, thank you for your assistance. Please allow me to lead you from this place. Your service will not be forgotten. Well, I mean, at least as so long as y'all are hanging around Middle Earth, I guess. Well, I thought that would take longer, but that was actually pretty quick, too. Well, Blood will be happy with the outcome, I'm sure. Hey, for a change, I actually remembered how to get in here. Blood. What have we to say to each other, Devotiad? With the death of Fran Vell, many of the shades in this land are free to move on. The shades that remain have been weakened. Your actions bring honor to yourself and your bloodline. Well, thank you. And... I have completed Mysteries of Inundwaif Final. Wait, have I? Yeah. Wow. We've done a lot more than I thought. Well, let's go see Mensham. Wondering if I have enough tokens and reputation to get anything now. It's my reputation here. Great company is at friend, Al Greg is at acquaintance. Mention. Our hope lies in secrecy, but we find these lands inhabited. With the disruption of the Dark Ritual, the Lights will be unable to quickly raise more of their foul brethren. You have done a great deed for the people of Inundwaif and the Great Company. Alright, so that's done. <laughs> we were supposed to find the entrance to Laid Ogo, uh, which we have not even done yet because we did everything else. But we did manage to do a whole lot of quests. And we're going to do one more thing real quick. I know we're going a little over, but I really, really want to see if I've got enough good grief that bags are full. Huh. If I have enough to get anything from the reputation vendor. Boy, that gets loud, doesn't it? I really 
really like this song. I couldn't even tell you why, but I really like it. Leave us alone. We will leave you in peace. To Ikadagoras. I love how the mobs just like completely ignore the stable ride. Actually, first, we better sell some junk. Do you have need of our assistance? Oh, just a little. Can you buy my junk off me? Let's buy that. Buy that. I don't know why I'm keeping a map to winter home, except that it's kind of fun to go there when it's... when it's not open. And that's the only way you're going to get there is if you have a map. That, get rid of that, and that, that. A lot of stuff to get rid of. I'm trying to think if there is a task board. Maybe I should hold on to those. Alright. I know not how we will supplement our provisions. Friend, we could get the spin emote now. If we were a hunter or a warden, we could get the muster or guide to Hornderian. What do we get at Ally? I forgot. Some jewelry and a jump emote. And at Kindred, there is the prized Grey Company steed. Couple more emotes. They're golf emotes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the spin emote. And now we know how to spin. So, go over here, spin. <laughs> it's silly. That it is, it is, it is absolutely silly, but it's fun. <laughs> All right, that was that was worth coming back. Next time, well, we'll pick up where we left off next time, and we will head to Lado Go in the Lich Bluffs. Until then, bye for now.